We hear all the time on the show, Mo to the one third rule. What does that mean? Where did that come from? Well, this is a research plot that we have here on our turf plots on East Campus, where we're trying to evaluate how often and how high you should mow your lawn. So we have a plot here with, with tall fescue and we have some buffalo grass next nearby. We're trying to determine what's the optimum mowing frequency and mowing height for tall fescue and for buffalo grass. And I mean optimum of, I'm not scalping, it makes the grass healthy, minimum lots of weeds, but also to, to have the slowest amount of growth. The more growth we get, the faster it grows, the faster the nutrients are taken up, the faster it burns sugar. So in this study, we're evaluating different mowing frequencies. And those frequencies are based on how fast the grass is growing. So the one third rule would mean we'd mow as soon as the grass uh, was tall enough that we would remove one third of the clippings at mowing. So if we're mowing at three inches, we measure and when the grass hits four and a half inches, then we mow. We have different thresholds too, like we mow once a week or once every uh, quarter rule. So we're removing a quarter of the leaf whenever we're doing our mowing application. We also have one that's kind of scalping and that's mowing half of the leaf off. So if we have a three inch plot, we let it grow to six inches and we cut it off. Then we also have monthly and uh, twice a year and once a year mowing to look at what the total amount of growth rate would be. So what are we finding? We're finding that the one third rule actually is the best recommendation for mowing frequency. If you're mowing lower at two inches, we don't recommend that generally because it means you have to mow more than once a week and people don't want to do that. So if you mow at three inches, you can at least be mowing once a week or sometimes even once every 10 days to two weeks, depending on how fast that grass is growing. If we scalp and we're actually removing more than one third of the leaf at one time, then the grass actually grows faster. So it's kind of counterintuitive. We're trying to uh, slow that growth rate down. We're scalping it and then the grass is growing even greater rate. The other problem with scalping is, well, it looks terrible. Nobody wants a bad looking lawn and we get weeds like crabgrass start to come in, especially in the summertime. So we don't want to do that. So it's a pretty interesting type of a research project. The one third rules existed for such a long time and it's nice to actually put numbers to it and evaluate it in a scientific way and say, yes, mowing to the one third rule works. Um, if you want to mow lower, say, you know, I don't want a three inch lawn, just know that you're going to have to probably mow more than once a week in the middle of the summer or this early spring when we get that big growth surge to keep up with the one third rule. Mowing is one of the best things that we can do for controlling the uh, weeds and maintaining a, a dense lawn. If you look at those athletic fields on TV, they're mowed a couple times a week and they look fantastic. Use this cultural practice to promote a nice, healthy, vigorous turf grass and, uh, and, and have the best looking lawn in the neighborhood.